Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to install KSI 9300KK ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 which is the XDA link of that ROM, just go to this page and then download the latest version, you can see the download links here and uh, here is the latest version that is 3.3 which is released on 27.12 just go and download from any of the link, this is Android file host and this is Mega link, you can download from any of this link and you can see I have already downloaded this ROM here. Now I have to copy this ROM to my S3. Here, here you can, you can see, see I copied that, that uh, ROM file, file to my S3. S3. Now, now I'm going to restart, restart my ROM. I will restart, restart my phone to recover what I'm using to the WP. If you didn't flash that, there is a link in the description to show you how to flash to the WP. And to get under the recovery mode, you have to press volume up, home button, and power button at the same time. Press and then hold it until this is logo comes. Then release. If you can see it's all right to get your WP recovery, you can see I am using the version version 2.8. First, you better take a backup backup of the current ROM. So, in case if something goes wrong, I will restore it later. And then, and then do, do a, a factor reset wipe. wipe. And after that, that go, go back to the main screen again, and then, then click, click on install, and, and then uh, browse the just, just download ROM file. file. Okay, okay, so, so this is ROM file, file like it, and, and then I have to click confirm. confirm. So, so the installation is started, and, and this is your ARM installation, so in, in this installation you can select whichever language you want to use this installation, installation method, method. Uh, this is which language is available, available. and go, go with the English, and then click next, I agree with the terms and conditions, then, then here, here I can choose to install the QS ROM, or then install the kernel, or install additional applications, and then install any additional mods, and then the system information, and also I can take the Backup of the VFC. So, so I'll go with installation, and then, and then from, from here, 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 if, if you are coming from, from uh, another room, room, you better go, go with complete cleaning. cleaning. If you are already using a QS KKK room, then you can go with partial verification. So, so I'm going with complete cleaning, and then from here, I can select which VFC I want. I'm from, from India, India. If it's IEN is available, then I'll we'll go with IENU and, and then I can use a uh, select offline keyboard, keyboard from here. I'll we'll go with English, English itself next. And then this is the kernel I can, I can choose. I can choose any, I can choose any, or I can choose for fun, or I can choose with the little top one. I'll go with any name this time, and then go. And then these are the blogger applications. I can choose whatever blogger applications I want. And then next. You can select the Google applications you want, like, like Google Chrome or Gmail, Gmail Google Drive, options are there. You can change the whatever applications you want, then you can select next. And then you can the widget tabs. tabs. So I select all, all the widgets you need, 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 and then you click next. From, from here, here I can select the VSC features, like, like the address sound, sound, if I go, go I want to turn, turn I can do that, call a pattern list, home page options. Select whatever options you need, and then you click next. And then here is the lock. Publicity. Let's go, go with the uh, default, default option, option and, and then select headphone volume level. That's the sound. sound. What what if you want, want the phone and SMS, SMS in S5 mode, you can choose S5 or you can go with stock. I'll go with S5. Lucky Lucky I also go with S5 and then file merge, I'll go with S5. Video player. In the I also choose S5 and, and then reboot, reboot the device, device after installation. Click next. So, so it started installing, installing the ROM. ROM. In the next time, 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 you can see the progress bar, bar down, down below. below. Okay, okay, so the installation is done, so I click next, next and, and then reboot, reboot my, my phone. So the phone is recording now. And then showing, showing the board animation. animation. Remember, Remember that the first boot will take some time, so please be patient. 
Okay, okay, so let's go to them now. Finally, the installation with these settings. I'll give all these options like Wi Fi and all data. Let me give a Google account. And then your, your, your name. If you, if you have some Samsung, Samsung account, you can click that drop box, box and your USB is also. So you, so you, you can, can see it's not into, into that, that new ROM. ROM. You can click on the setting option or more and uh, then the about, about device. device. You, you can see I'm running, running on QSI 9WKK version 3.2. So, this is based, based on Android 5.4.2. If you want, if you want, want to see, see the review of this video, video you can get the link in the description. Just go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.